It's a debate that has hit cities all across the nation. Should pit bulls be banned from people's homes? Vancouver is now thinking about it after a boy is attacked by three of the dogs. This is a story you'll see in today's Colombian. K2's Valerie Hurst is here live to explain what's happening. Well, the Colombian says that that little nine-year-old boy had just gotten to a friend's house and three pit bulls came out the door, uh, chased him across the street and took him down. It happened on East Evergreen Boulevard, which is really close to Harney Elementary School. Uh, the boy will be okay, we're told, but he was bit in several places, uh, including his ear. An owner ran out and carried the boy away from the pack, rescued him. Uh, that man was reportedly attacked by his own dog in the process. And we have a picture of one of those dogs here once animal control got on the scene. Amy Spring and Ethan Garrett were later ticketed and they could face some big fines. And two other pit bulls were in the house as well. Now after this attack and hearing from the public about others, at least two council members are interested in putting the ban discussion on the table. But Mayor Tim Levitt explained to the paper that in his opinion, he thinks that there should be, if anything is going to happen and changing regulations, ordinances, it should have more to do with uh, owners and their responsibility and making them more accountable. People who own pit bulls. Uh, still, bans like this are certainly not unheard of. In Washington alone, there are three other cities that do have pit bull bans within city limits. We're live at the Community News Center. Valerie Hurst, K2 News. All right, Valerie, thank you. And violent stories involving pit bulls always evoke a fiery debate about the breed. This morning on Facebook, we asked uh, for your thoughts if Vancouver should ban pit bulls. Many people have posted comments uh, commending, uh, condemning bad owners and not the dogs. Kim writes, no breed discrimination. Punish the deed, not the breed. Most pit bulls are very friendly, stable, loving members of families. Carla says it's dogs, period. When people treat them badly, they often behave in kind. So get rid of the people, duh. That's her comment. And Jessica says, unfortunately, many people simply don't do the necessary research when considering adding an animal to their family. It comes down to personal responsibility to make sure you fully understand the needs of the breed you are considering.